Hey, hey. My name is Remus Lux, and I just platinum Jedi Survivor. And after playing this game, I've got Star Wars fever. I've always felt I'm more of a legacy Star Wars fan. I love KOTOR games, the Jedi Knight series, and everything like that. But after Disney bought Star Wars, I've only seen The Force Awakens, and it's not that interesting to me. I just didn't like this new canon, where there was no Kal Katan, and Luke was a failure of a Jedi. After all the games I played, and the world I loved, it just felt wrong to me. So I stopped watching Star Wars for years. I just played the games like Jedi Fallen Order, and I liked them, but still had no interest to watch any of the Disney Star Wars series or movies. And it was fine. I didn't feel like I was missing anything. The only good thing I ever heard of Star Wars was The Mandalorian. And I just wasn't in that world anymore. Jedi of Fallen Order made me love Star Wars games again. I replayed KOTOR 1 and 2, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy. And the uh, original Battlefront 2. And that was that. I still had no interest in the shows or movies. But after playing Jedi Survivor, I can safely say that this game pulled me back in. I'm planning on skipping the new trilogy and just watching the shows, but still, it's a huge merit to this game. It reminded me what Star Wars is, why I loved it when I did. The combat feels great, the new stances, the new characters, the world. It just oozes, how would I say it, character, yeah that's the right word, it oozes character and it's just so good, like I love the combat, like <clears throat> I really like Jedi Fallen Order's combat but this kind of makes it a bit better, it's the same combat but better. The new stances, like cross guard and the like, really make it fun to fight. And having a companion with you when you fight really helps out too. <clears throat> you don't have a companion 24-7, it's just some missions, but still, it's fun. It's fun to play. The collectibles are a bit of a mixed bag. I really like some of the cosmetics, some of the XP boost perks, what you can collect. But then there's something like music you can collect by accident. If you're trying to get everything, like every the cool jackets, everything. And that kinda, it's just like, you go there, you get it, and it's a, it's a piece of music. Or some horrible, horrible, color thing or something but still there's more good than there's bad in the collectibles and the story and the characters oh boy I loved it the characters Cal Castus might be one of my favorite Jedi ever might be one of my favorite characters ever a Marin they are amazing characters you're gonna see some new faces, some old faces, but you're gonna love all of them. There are some contrivances in the story, and I really don't know anything about High Republic. Because I, I, first I thought the High Republic was the Old Republic from the KOTOR games, but it's not. It's something like 200 years before the prequel tr trilogy. I think. I'm not gonna say I'm sure. You know? The High Republic might be the where Guy Gunjin and every one of those was set in. But still, it's really good. There are really good characters in this game. I, I just talked about the characters in the world still, but I really got to make it a point of it. I really like those characters. And I really liked where the story is going. I really hope there's a sequel to this.
Because if that's not, I'm going to be left hanging. Like, it's not a cliffhanger. But it still leaves you wondering and thinking, what's next? What's next? If it ended here and nothing came ever, you wouldn't normally want more. Or you would. It's not. But still. And there are some things I didn't like about the game. In the story. Near the end of it. But still. It's really amazing. Nonetheless. I haven't felt like this playing a Star Wars game. Since the Kota and Jedi Knight games. I really love those. And if you're wondering should you play it. Yes. You should really play Jedi Survivor. I really recommend it. Not for a while, but once it gets fixed, and don't buy it on PC. Until I have no idea. I, I didn't buy it on PC. I don't buy new games, games on PC unless I know for certain that their performance is good. I have a PlayStation 5, and I play games like this on controller anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I really recommend it once it gets fixed. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye-bye.